We were quite impressed with the recently released Techno Camon 30 Premier 5G. And while it belongs to the upper mid-range segment, this one pretty much sounds like a flagship phone already. Priced at just under 24,000 pesos, you'll be surprised how many spot-on features this phone brings to the table. It's got a premium design, near flagship level performance, and most importantly, flagship level cameras. But the question is, can it really throw punches above its weight class? What up guys, Mikel here from Yigatech, and this is our full review on the Techno Camon 30 Premier. Let's dive in. The Techno Camon 30 Premier seems to balance traditional aesthetics with high-end features you wouldn't easily find in its price range. It has a slim profile measuring only 7.9mm, but it's a bit hefty at 200 10 grams. Going into details, most of the back panel is made out of a vegan leather material, making it relatively smudge resistant. On top of that, it features a hydrophobic coating that eliminates soaking and liquid residue. Not to mention, the phone gets an IP54 rating for protection against water splashes and dust. On the upper right corner of the rear is an aluminum accent for better grip or maybe it's just aesthetic. This decorative part actually curves inwards to the sides, adding a unique touch to the phone's overall appearance. Notice the red dot. This is what Techno calls an action dot, which lights up when recording a video, when charging, and when alarms go off. And just below that is the phone's LED flash. Frankly, we love this layout because it goes to show how Techno pays attention towards shooting orientations. The camera sensors are enclosed in a classic side axis design. This enclosure is also marketed to help the phone with heat dissipation for better thermals. For buttons and ports, we have the volume rocker on the left and power button on the right side. There's a dual nano SIM card slot, USB-C, noise canceling microphone, and a speaker grill at the bottom. Up top, we have the second mic and another speaker grill for stereo audio. Overall, Techno managed to make a classy design to complement their contemporary design cues. Even the protective case that comes in the box features a similar texture to that of the Camon 30 Premier's back panel. But this one isn't like a vegan leather. The Camon 30 Premier boasts a 6.77 inch Full HD Plus LTPO AMOLED display. It sports a 120Hz adaptive refresh rate and has a peak brightness of 1500 nits. Like I mentioned earlier, the phone has dual stereo speakers and users get Dolby Atmos support which can be toggled. They're quite loud and clear, but resolution isn't as crisp as we were expecting. Overall, it sounds great when watching your favorite shows, listening to your favorite tunes, and even gaming. For biometrics, it gets an in-display fingerprint sensor, which works pretty smoothly. We also get optical face unlock on board and even features a neat animation on the top of the screen that reminds us of Apple's Dynamic Island. Now, on to one of the highlights of this phone, the cameras. Techno throws in four 50-megapixel cameras with the Camon 30 Premier. Yes, you heard that right. Four 50 megapixel sensors. Three sensors are found here at the rear with a Sony IMX890 as the main shooter, followed by a periscopic telephoto and an ultra wide. Of course, we have the selfie camera situated in the top center punch hole in front. The main shooter is pretty distinct, being the same sensor found in other flagship phones like the Oppo Find X6 and Realme GT5. Photos taken in the day have a natural bokeh or shallow depth of field. The sensor also provides optical image stabilization for handheld shooting and helps to capture a clearer picture while in motion. But enough talk, check out some of these sample shots. The phone isn't a slouch when it comes to selfies either. The front-facing camera utilizes eye-tracking autofocus, making it great for capturing vlog-style videos. On top of that, the Camon 30 Premier integrates some AI-enabled features, 
There's AI motion snapshot that lets users capture fast moving subjects while still in focus. You can even create some quirky AI portraits of yourself or use AI eraser to make further adjustments later on. There's also social turbo with a range of features including voice changer or background changer, beauty functions, Tmoji avatars, and more. As for video, both front and rear cameras can shoot up to 4K at 60 frames per second. This level of quality should give users leeway to do cropping and editing clips. This is a main camera video sample using the Technocamon 30 Premier. We're shooting at 4K at 30 frames per second with ultra steady mode on because it works at 4K resolution, wherein with other phones, it might only be locked to full HD or 1080p resolution. So I'm not really sure how it looks because I cannot see the viewfinder. I'm shooting with the main camera. Now let's see how it fares in more dim lit lighting conditions as I enter the garage. All right. One notable issue we think can be fixed with an update is weirdly when shooting videos, we don't have the ability to switch between the two other sensors after hitting record. Oddly, it only digitally zooms in when trying to do so. So please fix this, Techno. With all that said, we think Techno offers a lot of stuff to play with in the Camon 30 Premiere stock camera app, which is honestly great, considering it comes in a mid-range package and price. Best of all, the phone gives so much flexibility to anyone who can put it to good use. Out of the box, the Camera 30 Premiere runs on iOS 14 based on Android 14. It's clean, minimal, but feels a little flat with overall customization. While the essentials are here and appreciated, we have but one gripe with this interface. Enabling Dolby Atmos is a hassle. No toggle in the drop-down menu, and there is no way for it to be added. To turn it on means digging into the settings menu and searching for it. We can only hope that Techno fixes this in a future OS update along with the video zoom issue. When it comes to bloatware, TikTok, Facebook, and Shopee came pre-installed with the device. Take from that what you may. There's this HiOS family folder in the home screen that includes HiOS native apps like Hala Browser, Ella, and Freezer. Either way, whatever repeat apps users are not interested in can easily be uninstalled. In terms of user interface, you can only do a handful of things. Though at the very least, expect it to feature an always-on display with widget customization as well as dynamic port, floating windows, memfusion, which is what they call their RAM extension feature, smart panel, game mode, and smart hub. As for software support, Techno promises three years worth of OS upgrades and three years of security patches. Under the hood, the Camon 30 Premiere equips the MediaTek Dimensity 8200 Ultimate, the same caliber that powers the likes of the Xiaomi 13T, Vivo V30 Pro, and the Oppo Reno 11 Pro. Our unit comes with 12GB of RAM and 512GB of UFS 3.1 storage. This phone was able to handle high-performing games with nothing we could nitpick about. It loaded up PUBG Mobile with ease, and more intensive games like Genshin Impact defaults to medium graphic settings and performs smooth overall. In PUBG Mobile, frame rates were high and stable and made for an enjoyable session. We also noticed that the device didn't heat up at all during gameplay, and that's probably thanks to the phone's 10-layer cooling system. For those interested, check out our benchmark scores. With these numbers, we'd say there's only a small margin for apps this device cannot run. Battery-wise, the Camon 30 Premier packs a 5,000 mAh battery paired with 70 watt charging via USB-C. Charging from 0% to 100% takes roughly an hour, but if you're strapped for time, it takes about 24 minutes to get to 50%. We got this result with the device set to smart charging. We're hoping for a future OS update to bring a fast charging toggle. The only other alternative is low temp mode, which slows charging down in favor of battery lifespan. According to Techno, the phone has an extended lifespan with support for over 1,600 charging cycles. Also, the phone's battery maintains 80% of its effective capacity even after four years. We took some practical tests for the newly released phone with different results coming from mixed usage variables. In PC Mark's Work 3.0 battery test, our unit lasted 11 hours and 52 minutes. 
This test was conducted with 50% brightness, volume muted, and in airplane mode. This isn't much for a smartphone with this battery capacity, so we tested it more with different parameters with better results. In our standard Yugatech video loop test, the Techno Camera 30 Premier 5G provided 22 hours and 50 minutes of continuous media playback. This test was done by playing a Full HD movie on loop with the same factors present in the previous test. We also did a gaming test for the device and found it can provide up to 12 hours and 30 minutes of gameplay. For this, we had brightness and volume set to 50% over a Wi-Fi connection and left the high performance setting enabled. Our consensus for the battery is that it's more than capable for watching videos and gaming sessions throughout the day. While the phone did seem to struggle with general multitasking from the first test, the numbers that followed proved otherwise. Connectivity options consist of all the essentials, Wi-Fi 5, Bluetooth 5.2, NFC, and dual SIM 5G. End users also get a handy IR remote control that users can use for home appliances. And to wrap up this review, getting the Techno Camon 30 Premier 5G is somewhat of a no-brainer. For what it offers, at 23,999 pesos for the sole 12 plus 512 gig variant, it really isn't much of a debate. It sports high-end cameras, a beautiful display, and great performance, all bundled up in a premium build and sleek design with a leather texture case to boot. Aside from a flat software experience and a few issues with the user interface, it's all good. We're sure our findings will be addressed with a few updates here and there, but the pros definitely outweigh the cons. All in all, the Techno Camon 30 Premier is very much worth your time to look into. So, what did you guys think of this new mid-ranger in town? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. But if you found this video entertaining, informative, or educational, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit yukatech.com and follow us on our socials, that is Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this has been Big Go, and I will see you in the next one.